hi welcome back to my channel my name is Marcy and uh, if you're new to the channel uh, make sure you subscribe um, if you, uh, you can smash the like button and make sure you ring the bell so that um, you know when I have new uh, posts so this is a channel where I basically talk about everything I turned 40 and I realized that my friends might have had all my stories two or three more three times so I decided that maybe the rest of the world need to get to also hear my rants um, I have been thinking um, about today I'm going to talk about uh, the different kinds of parenting and uh, boarding school basically so this is going to be a short video about what kind of parenting I think needs to lead to boarding school actually I don't really know what I'm going to talk about but we are going to do something to do with parenting and something to do with boarding school I will think as I do the video not well thought out anyway so um, I absolutely hate if you watched my video about uh, mama bear link up here um, I absolutely hate when people try to tell people how to parent having said that I have a few people around me who they can tell me when they see something is wrong like I am not against somebody telling me that I have noticed this about your child and I think you should look into it I am so okay with that I think it's great if you have people around you who can help you with your parenting now problem comes in when it's um total strangers telling you how you need to raise your children how you need to because they don't know what they don't know the specifics of what you're going through or what your children are going through or the kind of people that your children are they don't know all this information so when they're giving you all this advice sometimes it's coming from a good heart place sometimes it's just not now i want to believe that my children are going to turn out fine i am doing my best but even i sometimes look at myself and i am like this is not the kind of parenting that I want. You know, I judge me because I feel like there are things that I could do better. But I just, it's just not happening. Good example is um, I need to get a handle on how much screen time my daughter has. But I go some weeks, I'm fine. Well, no, it's no screens, no TV, no nothing. And, and then some weeks I'm just like, oh, I don't have the strength for this. And I just let her do it. Um, same thing with the extracurricular activities sometimes i'm very very okay you're going to do this i have said it is decided you're going to do this and then sometimes i don't have the strength to fight so i just say you know what go ahead what quit quit i don't care the only thing that i stay steadfast on is academics because i i know everybody says that uh, things are different and stuff like that and you need to worry about but she doesn't have any single thing that she is so attached to so I might as well make sure that she gets extremely good grades because that seems to be the only path that she will um, be able to go. Now, um, what I find strange, so when I was growing up, it was the parents said and we followed. So there was no, I like to believe that my daughter and I, as much as I keep telling her, we are not friends, I'm your parent. As much as I keep telling her that, I feel like she and I have a better relationship than I had with my parents. I don't think I ever had a situation where i could say to my mom and okay now i mean we're adults now so it, it's fine but even now i find it hard to talk to my mom about some things and i think i don't even think that there were days when we could just sit down and talk about oh mommy i have a crush on this guy and stuff like that which is something that i mean i think my daughter and i will well, when it comes to that time talk about it because she does tell me some things about oh you know stuff that she has noticed and i'm like oh god are we really there you know when she notices a boy is cute i'm like are we really already at this age <laughs> but what do you do they're growing up but i'm glad that we have the kind of relationship where she can tell me this kind of things now i what scares me what scares me a lot is the fact that we grew up um i'm talking about children of the 80s and early 90s 70s 80s early mid 70s to maybe yeah mid 70s to late 80s i think let's say that we grew up at a time when parents were not your friends they they were there to be feared so we respected our parents out of fear out of fear of being spanked out of fear of many things and i wouldn't want that so some of us when we grew up and i went to high school um i went to boarding school in high school my brother went to boarding school in primary school but i went to boarding school in high school and um in kenya actually most of the good schools back then were boarding schools so we yeah so it was a good thing to go to boarding school still is except of course there is now a lot of yeah special parenting and then you send the child to high school so when i went to high school that was my chance to kind of explore a lot of things i think i started learning a lot more bad things when i went to what my parents would call bad things when i went to boarding school for the simple reason that now here i am with children who are from different 
backgrounds who have um different family values who and you know we all learn how to hide things from our parents and by the time i'm coming home for my holidays i know so much about things that i need to hide this is my chance to receive letters from boys and actually build those relationships which i could not build when i was um in school actually when i was well of course i was also in primary school but i mean if i was in a day school i would be i would have less chances of doing this and um so that kind of made me um say that i i had decided a long time ago even well i mean i always wanted to not live in kenya i always wanted to live abroad but plan b if i was going to be in kenya my children are not going to go into boarding school because to me i believe every naughty thing that i ever learned i learned in high school and because it was boarding school that's just the conclusion that i came to now um fast forward to what's going on now um now there's a different kind of parenting there's the no parenting parenting you know the I will not discipline my kids because I was disciplined. I will not do this because I was, you know, okay, fine. I don't say every child has to be spanked, but I don't think you should let your child come to my house and break my things because you cannot say no to your child. You know, I just think some things are ridiculous. There is an extreme that now our generation are going to where now I feel like it's, it's, it's a bit too much, you know, where it's just, let's go, let it go. Let the child grow up. And as much as I also do feel like sometimes I am not as strict as I should be, I think some people are just not even trying. They are trying so hard to be the cool parent that they don't see the consequences of the kind of child they're raising. I get so scared. My son is a toddler. He's two years old. Um, and I get very scared of going to people's houses. When somebody has no children, um i always want them like you invite me to your house the first thing i will tell you is i have a two-year-old can i come with him he really does climb things he really you know i always have to make excuses and tell people in advance i am trying to train him to stop doing all that and telling him no and stuff like that and he is getting better at it at least now the climbing is under control now the problem is the arranging he just thinks that he knows how to arrange everything better than everybody arranges so we're working on that but I always feel like I have to apologize in advance. What I don't like is when you go on Facebook and you start seeing all these parents who, oh, let the children be children. Yes, let them be children, but you have to create boundaries. You know, you have to seriously create boundaries. And when I see that you're making an effort, of course, there are things which are beyond your control. When I see you're making an effort and it's just not happening, that's different. But when I see your child is just breaking something and you're just there watching, I understand there are mental illnesses, there are disabilities that we cannot see, there, there's a lot that, that can be happening. And unfortunately, I feel, that's just me thinking, I feel like if that is the case, then you should at least explain to people, you know, at least try and explain that, okay, listen, I am, this is what's happening, my son has this, is not is like this because he's autistic or because he has, you know, you explain. But when you just leave it like that, then... I'm just thinking you're a bad parent. Of course, if, if you're not a bad parent, I mean, nobody's a bad parent. Everybody's a, a good parent in their own way. But if you're raising a child and then you want to release this child to society, like, for example, send this child to boarding school at some point, you're sending this child to boarding school. You have not taught this child that this child can be told no. And then you're sending this child to a place where they have rules. By the way, I really do think that those rules need to at least be upgraded a bit. But you're sending this child to a place where they have rules, which were in the 80s and 70s and 90s and you're sending this child who has never had the word no to that kind of an institution what do you expect why are you torturing your child i mean there's there are different cases i mean there are cases where i find i have friends whose kids have gone all the way to college without knowing how to make their bed and then they call home and say mommy did you know i'm actually supposed to put a bed sheet on my bed they have been sleeping on their beds all their lives they have never noticed it has a bed sheet on it because it's never been an issue they have never made their bed they've never washed a bed sheet they've never washed anything i that's a whole other video but anyway so th this to say whatever kind of parenting that you choose i think you need to not punish your child by then putting them in a situation where they have to adjust on their own so you're sending this child to a boarding school when you have raised this child to believe that the world begins and ends with them a boarding school has to be accepting and flexible and accommodating for all these children now how does how is that fair on the child how is that even fair on the child so with that um i hope that um this kind of makes sense and um see you soon for more videos Bye bye